So, I just saw her name trending on Twitter. I'm guessing she's one of the new people who got elected in 2021 in around January 3rd. Her name is Marjorie Taylor Greene, and according to CNN, basically, she basically on Sunday, Twitter temporarily suspended the account of Representative Major Majory Taylor Green for repeated violations of the new rules the social media platform put in place following the violent U.S. Capitol riot earlier this month. The account referenced has been temporarily logged for for multiple violations of our civic integrity policy, the spokesperson said. As a result, the congresswoman will be locked out of her account for 12 hours. Green, who has to track where her... And Manu, tell us about this scene that happened on Wednesday while the doors and windows... Okay, where was I? Oh, all right. Who has the track record of indecency rhetoric and ties to the baseless QAnon conspiracy theory had tweeted a conspiracy Latin thread earlier Sunday about the Georgia Senate elections. Some of the tweets earned labels from Twitter noting this claim about election fraud is disputed and this tweet can... This tweet can't be replied to, retweeted, or liked due to risk of violence. The Georgia Republican bemoaned her suspension in a statement Sunday calling on Congress to act swiftly to protect free speech in America. And if you want to know why she got suspended for, it was basically one of those tweets, which says here, this claim of election fraud is disputed and this tweet can be replied to, retreated, or liked due to risk of violence. So I'm going to read to you now her full statement to Twitter as she got back on it over two hours ago. She says, Dear Twitter, contrary to how you highly think of yourself and your more platitude, are not, you are not the judge of humanity. God is. And you and the rest of your pals from Silicon Valley Cartel are not God. Difficult for you to grasp, I know. However, it's the truth. Tweets that you deemed appropriate and safe, that you deem quote unquote appropriate and quote unquote safe and quote unquote true, compared to the tweets you deemed quote unquote exciting violence and spreading false inform and quote unquote spreading false information and quote unquote claims of election fraud is disputed are so many times in the opinion of. Many quit hypocritical and false. For example, why do you allow these type these type things on your platform? Porn, Iran's Alatola. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Who declares his intent to destroy? Israel, who is our greatest ally. Hashtags on tweets like hashtag kill Trump continued. Yet, you continuously abuse conservatives' opinions and free speech by canceling us. You see sending and banning people every time one of the self-appointed Twitter police cries Twitter safety when their feelings are terribly hurt by reading a tweet. They do 
they disagree with does not make it the right thing to do. Actually, you are playing a very big role in the dangerous divide of Americans and violating people's guarantee right of free speech, as you know. There are always consequences to every action. You learned that recently at the event real Donald Trump. Even days of defending him, your stock swallowed, tumbled to 12%, and you lost $5 billion in, sh- in market share. So what? So what if they lost $5 billion in market share? They still have a lot of money. $5 billion to them is nothing. It's $5 million to Twitter. $5 billion to Twitter is, like, less. Take, take it as a regular five dollars, for example. A regular five dollars less. So therefore, a five billion dollars in market share is practically less. So Twitter wouldn't care about that. Also, Twitter is becoming boring without President Trump. You do realize many people love him or hate him, created accounts here just because of Trump. And through Trump's tweets, great debates have occurred. Well, I didn't necessarily create my Twitter account because of Donald Trump. I necessarily created my Twitter account at the time because, well, my first instinct was to talk to a celebrity on social media. Unfortunately, that still hasn't happened in the last, like, seven to, like, eight years. Eight years now. And, uh, you know, at this point, you'd be wrong. I mean, many people, practically before Donald Trump, used Twitter earlier on, which is how they got into Twitter. The wild debate of ideas, opinions, and arguing truth, Twitter and similar police state platforms will eventually lose. Because the very nature of who we are and how we interact, we desire and demand to be speech. If social media social media platforms continue down the dangerous path of sitting in the judgment seat of whose political opinions are right are right and wrong. They will eventually fall from glory. Either through overbearing government regulations to stop censorship or competition. The free market allows for new platforms and opinions where people aren't harshly harshly judged and cancelled. It's already in process. You know the great thing about America is that you can change your mind and the way you do things. Imagine you if you decide to let Trump back in back on Twitter. Imagine if you were the platform that allowed people to freely debate. I mean sure. We can have disagreeable opinion disagreeable opinions or agreeable opinions we can have ideas that's true and we can ar- guess and we can argue the truth and that's a good fact but when it comes to people who spread the opposite of the truth 
is completely, oh, like a horrible idea. And we can't just make these false tweets that say Trump won, he's our president for the next four years. That's not how it works. And the, the reason why your opinions are hardly judged is because you spread misinformation. Trump is not allowed back on Twitter because he actually incited the violence. And you practically can't see that, Major League Taylor Green. He told his, his own supporters, like almost two weeks ago, to go and storm the Capitol. Like... How do you not see that? How do you not wake up every day and notice that Trump supporters were the ones who were told by Trump to do these things? And yes, people can freely debate, but the people can't just do the opposite of freely debating. Imagine not having to go through being harshly regulated when we push second, section 230 reform. Imagine freedom. That's what a county virus did. And it isn't interesting that the amendment is freedom of speech. After they thought of revolution, they must have really understood how informed free speech really is. I hope you, Twitter, and at Jack realize the same. I mean, that is true. Because we already have the freedom to say what we want. But Twitter at this point is mainly a private company and they can stop the spread of misinformation whenever they want. And the misinformation, however, sadly, is coming from you and other Trumplicans. You and other Trumplicans for for like months and weeks since the election have spread misinformation. Ex excuse me. Disinformation. You spread a lot of disinformation for at least 20 to like three weeks you spread a lot of disinformation and we already have the freedom to say what we want again we already have that but when it comes to spreading disinformation that is the opposite of having the freedom to to like do that I mean, when it comes to swear words, of course, Twitter won't allow you to, to freely say swear words without having to get told by an AI that you're using profanity, quote unquote profanity, um, when it comes to not leaving your, your own favorite swear words. I mean, that's how I really imagine freedom of speech is. But if we read, uh, we 
reappeal section 230. That would help, that would do the opposite of helping the conservatives who like to conserve things. They, they will continue to spread misinformation, therefore, Twitter itself will backfire on you as you implemented them. If you actually did that, your account will be in jeopardy, as will mine. My account will be in jeopardy if I just if I just say something that isn't against Twitter's terms of service, as the news media reported. And if I say something that that I type, such as Joe Biden is president of the United States, and then Twitter sees the opposite of that, unfortunately, because of the reform of Section 230, my account could be gone in 11 seconds, as will yours. Everyone's account will be gone in seconds, and then after that, Twitter will be shutting down. This is why I don't like conservative, conservative Republican ideas when it comes to uh, them supporting Trump because their ideas is so vague and completely irrehensible. Because the way they say that is the opposite of what's going to happen. I mean, if you actually do that today or some time in the future which might even happen then your account is gonna be at a much bigger risk than or he is right now that's why I'm against reappealing section 230 about the protections of section 230 we wouldn't have you know to stop this spread of misinformation like this. So at the end of the day, Major Green, it's best that you stop spreading misinformation that could cause the jeopardy of America. Stop listening to Donald J. Trump. He's no longer going to be president in less than three days. Just stop trying so hard to please him. And stop trying to prove that you're going to impeach Joe Biden. It will never, it will never work. Oh, you guys didn't know that? She tried to make a cute point as to whether Joe Biden should be impeached because of his quote-unquote crimes. She thinks she, that Joe Biden should be impeached because she thinks that Joe Biden has spread a lot of misinformation and lies. And I'll definitely make another video about it someday. Because she says that she's planning to do that on January 21st, when Joe Biden is elected president. See this right here? This is a link to her website, action.green2020.com. And it's to that, it says, Impeach Joe Biden. Sign the petition to Citizen Co-Sponsor. And I doubt that millions of people are going to do that. Because. One. There's nothing to impeach Joe Biden for. Two. During his first 100 days in office. We all need to be vaccinated immediately. So that is going to happen. And three. Three. Major League Taylor Green doesn't have the proof.
So in the end of the day, Major League Taylor Green, if you can just do all of us a favor and stop spreading misinformation, that would be great. Really, that would be great. I mean, come on, you're making a fool of yourself. You're about to lose your account because of this for a reason. And don't be tweeting 30, 30 minutes ago after this you know, saying Twitter allowed four years of brushing collusion disinformation on this platform. It was 100% fake news from the get go, but was allowed anyway. No, that was real. That was true. 